I'm gonna paint something up like Picasso here. So here we go. I got 142, but I, it's, it's, the, it's my direction. I'm gonna try to initiate some shot shape here, right to left over that tree. High, draw. It wasn't high and it didn't draw. All right, guys, today we're at the town of Walk Hill Golf Club. Mike, this one, this is a local for me. This is a local. You've played I, this quite a bit. I have, but it's been years. But I did grow up not too far from here, so I'm excited to get out there. And today, guys, we're calling this video Shot by Shot with Shot Scope for two reasons. The first reason is because we're going to take you through 18 holes, shot by <laughs> shot. Good, you asked for it, guys. Good, bad, or indifferent. Yep. We're going to take you through it. And the second reason is because this video is sponsored by our friends at Shot Scope, which, by the well, way, is going to help us track every single shot while we're out there. So if guys, if you haven't already checked out the new ShotScope V3, it is a GPS watch with built-in stat tracking technology. So the watch, along with the tags on our clubs, are gonna track every single shot while we're out there. That's a reason we've been loving using it for years. We can mm -hmm. go back and look at our rounds, but even more importantly, we learn from the data. We go back and we see where we need to improve. So, super Dude, excited to get out there. I'm excited, but you got me nervous. Last night, you're like, Mike, this track's got plenty of water, and it's super tight. Super tight. And this track will mess with your mind, Ugh. because there are quite a few holes that look quite short off the tee, but you have to take on quite a bit of risk in order to get there. So we're gonna see how risky you wanna get today. All right, let's see if we can go as low as we can, man. All right, let's get out there, shot by shot. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome up to this very first tee box. This is what I mean right off the bat. Not a long hole on my shot scope. I got only 270 to that hole, and I could see the flag stick out there. So it is something that is going to tempt you right off the bat. But if you take a look, not only do you have water all the way up the left side, but it's tight even on the right with the woods there. So, as the starter was just telling us, the smart play is to put something out there about 200 and wedge it in, but people have gone for this green successfully before. We're gonna have to see what, what Mike wants to do because I see him already pulling that driver and itching. We'll see. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, I see it bounce. We're up there? I don't know if it quite bounced up on the green, but you might be, you're right up there somewhere. Let's go see. Frank, we don't often see the, the feast or famine type of drivable par fours on the first hole out of the gate. What's your play here? Not your play. <laughs> Jeez, I went driving and it looks shot. like I made it up there. I'm playing six iron, leave myself a hundred out. I like it, smart. Great shot. Exactly what you want it to do. All I want is on this whole good swing. Fairway's deceiving. Where those trees are, it looks like it's fairway, but that's water, so I kept it right. All right, Frank, you got a family of geese in front of you, and what's your yardage to the hole? hundred yards, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what you wanted. SM8, feeling good, huh? Nothing feels better than a low spinning wedge, man. Nothing. Nice shot. All right, man, we did carry the water. We almost got it, but we ended up in the green side bunker. Look, I had to carry all of that. You certainly took a risk. You carried all that to this green side bunker. It was out here. It started coming in this way. Yep. Spin. Oh, what a robbery. Oh, 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 so close to that opening bird. Now we got a little bit longer par four here. I got a 400 yard par four, second hole. Still a lot of danger, you gotta carry it a little bit, but walking off with two pars, so let's keep it going. There you go, way to get through it. Hang on. Got lucky, huh? All right, I knew it was trending right. All right, I had absolutely no way to go to this green because it's behind that, so. Out to the fairway. Fine. Draw in a little, draw in a oh, little move bit. Move a little for me. Oh boy. Back of the green. Back of the green? Yep, right off the back. Oh 
That's a shot I struggle with. Yeah. That was a bad chip. All right, so bad double bogey on the last hole. I had no choice punching out on the second shot, but how do you bounce back from a double, right, Frank? How do we do that? So we got a long par three, relatively long. It's gonna play about 170-ish. It's no chip shot today. Just off the left side. Great shot. Get the middle of that green. Boom. Drop and stop. Good shot. Release out. Not enough, not enough. Good roll. Good up and down. All right, well, you got your bounce back there. I did, I felt good. Good up and down there, so we got a nice long one here, Frank. Looks like a dog leg's right a little bit down a hill. Right down the fairway. Take a peek at it for a little longer. Yeah, and they're good, you look at it. Quickly learning how tight these fairways are. You thought you had a nice line off the uh, tee and you're stuck over here again. You weren't kidding about how tight this course is, man. It's tight, man. I might have to change my strategy up on the next hole. Maybe a little get more creative off the tee. But anyway, I have no chance here again, so I just gotta hopefully get it out. Out there. Yeah, she's through. Middle of the fairway, good. This is really cool. New thing ShotScope did with their latest firmware really greatly helps improve your, your shot tagging and tracking. So as soon as I get up to play my shot, right, I'm gonna take a, uh, a practice swing or two. System registers what club I have in my hand. Take a look down here, nine iron. So that matches the tag right here. So I know that the system is tracking the right club for every shot. It's great feedback. Sounds like a green. It's all nice hot. Let's go look. Two good shots like that in a row for me, it's a little bit rare, so you gotta capitalize when you get it. Get stung by a wasp. Mm, a little wasp or a bat. <laughs> Jeez. It was big. That was a uh, murder hornet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Talk about adding pressure, this thing wants to sting. It wants to kill you and, yeah. Not high enough, but good par. I laid way off it. Dude, this is a par five. My watch is saying 350. Okay. What is going on here? So I'm just looking at it on their app here, and it is it is a true three shot par five. So even though it's a 500 yard hole on the card, the hole is only 300 and something yards away as the crow flies that way. Right. But you can't go up and over. And what's interesting is there is a little body of water, a little pond out there that comes into play somewhere around 230. So either you really just bomb it over that and you're really taking a risk there, or you play just fairway hopping. Okay. I think so gonna I'm gonna hop. play a nice 200 yard shot, I think is our shot, to the first fairway, Second fairway, and then it's a big, you know, yeah, left turn. Yeah, no one's going this way, so. It's a big left turn All up right. to the uh, green. I like it. A little chunky. A little chunky up there. Up and out there. All right. Get over. You're over. <laughs> <laughs> Danger zone. Danger zone. Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. All right, dude, I still think you got, you got, the green is back there. The green you can't go for. All right. So now we hit a five, now we're gonna hit a six, and we're gonna try to leave ourselves a wedge. Perfect. Well executed, man. 
All aboard. Ring a ding ding. I'm gonna paint something up like Picasso here. So here we go. I got 142, but I it's it's the it's my direction. I'm gonna try to initiate some shot shape here, right to left over that tree. High draw. Was it high and it didn't draw? You do okay. It's all bounce. Might be on the green. Nah, that's what happens you can't see the green. I came up just short, you came up just long. Chip and putt, chip and putt. Chip dunk down to the hole. <sighs> Gotta get him to release, Frank. Okay, good save. All right, downhill, dog leg right, only 300 yards. You go straight out, those trees come into play if you hit driver, so a nice 230 shot is the play. I got the hybrid. Flirted with the left side, let's see. Right. Hopefully we're safe. And you're flirting with the right side a bit. Didn't hear anything, it should be good. By a foot, I pushed it too far left. And rate this lie, guys. Look at this lie, Mike. Oh, yeah. That's about a zero on the scale. Let's get all the way in there and just see. Oh, yeah. All right, we're up there. Good shot. One time. <laughs> Woo. Good putt. You know, funny enough, my sister in law is a hole in one on this hole. From those tees? No, no, but she said her and her brother looked at it for it for 10 minutes. Didn't realize it went in the hole. They were looking everywhere. That's cool. It was in the hole. That's cool. Yeah. All right, what'd you pull? All right, I got a seven iron here. Let's see if we can get it up there with you. Might be a little long and a little left, but right up there. All right, looks like I rolled actually much further than I thought, all the way off the back here. Um, you know, they warned us before we headed out here. It's a little bit dry. They've had a drought here for the last uh, couple weeks. So you putt this, huh? I'm gonna putt it either way, though. Okay. Yeah, we're putting this. I have a similar lie than you on this fringe. Okay. Oh, we had the pace. That was beautiful, man. Now break. A lot of you guys know if you watch the video, videos regularly, I've been struggling a lot with putting. Um, so if this is a tip I got recently, it's been helping me. If it helps one of you guys, then I'm even happier for it. But what I've been doing, and I've been getting better at some of the lag putts like that one you just saw, is looking at the hole while I take my practice swings. It's just that simple change gives the kind of the mind a way to kind of lock in that pace a little bit better. So I've been taking all my practice swings looking at it and then getting my pace that way. It has been helping a bit. Hopefully you guys can use it. Hang on. All right, second one I pushed left on this hole. Pick it up and over that tree. Tough lie over my head. Boy, feet. Shot scope's got me at 130 front, 150 middle. And plus, I'm remembering that last par three where it hit the middle of the green and just kept going. So I'm gonna play the shorter number. I'm gonna play a nine iron. Let it land short and roll a little bit. Get up now. 
Stick the guard on. Okay, nice shot. All right, so see that? I just told you guys what I was doing for my lag putts. Doesn't account for mental errors. That was a major mental error. I overthought it. Sometimes you overthink it, you know? Can't overthink it. All right, guys, ninth hole. Um, number one handicap hole here, another tight hole, but longer for a par four out here. I got a 410 yards here on the watch. And you know what, I'd love to get your feedback. So far, what are you thinking of the uh, the shot by shot format? You like it, is it too much? Compared to some of the ways we uh, film some of our other videos, give us that feedback, we'd love to hear it. Ready to tee off? Let's do it. Good drive. All right, looks like you took a nasty hit off that hill, but you were safe, just blocked All right, out. Well, look, I mean, this is what we've been saying about this course. It's very difficult with these tee shots, especially this is blind, you can't see it. You push it a little bit left or right and you're in trouble. And now, yeah, what's even though I've only got about 150 to the flag, no way I can get there. Completely block myself out the right side. So I'm gonna punch a seven iron somewhere out there and take two shots to get to this green. Okay. Nice kick. I'll just play a wedge from there at the green. That's it, man. But that's how this course penalizes you. Blocks you out. Mike's the kind of guy who, who parks right next to the entrance to buildings. Like I like to just pull right in. He just likes to pull right. And right get what yeah. I gotta get and get right out. Right. That's that's Mike. Right up to the ball. <laughs> mm. Got thin with it. I'll take a look back at this fairway, Frank. I mean it shows how dramatic these hills are and how they run. Everything runs left to right. Kick right. Go, go. Here it goes. There it goes. I knew it would move right. I got a little bit risky going right. You got right very up. risky. I'm surprised I even got on the green, but you got the good kick, and every now and then you deserve one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as Mike prepares for his little chip shot here, I will say I'm very impressed with Walk Hill. Greens are in great shape. Like I said, it's been dry. We haven't had rain in weeks, but great condition. Just one of my favorite. Munis. It's, it's worth a look. Play it. Play it. It's a challenge, but it's, it's fun. There you go. Tap in range. Oh, a little bit more. All right, Mike, scoring update as we make the turn here. Not so bad. Um, you shot 39, Frank. That's that's better than not so bad. That's great. That's damn good for you. And 41 for me. And, you know, back nine, I'm in a completely different approach for me. I'm going to try to be way more conservative and try to try to really go low. And, guys, this 10th uh, hole is the epitome of a true dog leg left risk-reward hole like we talked about earlier. We're really... If you wanted to try to go right over the woods, it's only about a 240 shot, but you have gotta be perfect if you wanna go for this green. And since I do not have a PGA Tour card, that is not what's gonna to happen today. Otherwise, it's just a matter of how much of that corner you wanna cut off to leave yourself a less of wedge. But realistically, it only takes probably about a 150, 165 shot down this fairway to give yourself a nice look into this green. Just don't hit it too far, because if you do, you go through the fairway. But you gotta just, Hit that sweet spot. That's a great shot. Yeah, it didn't turn, but it's That's dead you, straight. Right. You're in good shape. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but this is all downhill from here. I thought it would just roll down. 
Then yeah. I thought this part broke down the hill. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. Okay. All right, so 11th hole, par three. Again, pushed all the way back here. So we got about a 145 shot. Left side protected by bunkers, right side by trees. So you just kind of, luckily we got a middle pin, you just kind of kind of go right at it. It's out. Oh, I left everything short. I wasn't gonna leave that one short. Oh, would have been a world-class par. Would have been. So there you have it. You see me leave uh, a lot of putts short these last couple holes, and what happens when you do that? <laughs> you try to ram one home, overpaced it. Luckily, it hit that cup. I was able to tap it in and get my par, but that was just a huge overcompensation for leaving so many short. All right, so not the worst as far as view here. Um, ShotScope got me a 200, but I'll tell you what, this is not the time to play a hero shot from right here. What is it, we got par five, so no, no reason to get crazy. It's not the best spot, I'm standing on rock. So I'm just gonna take the six iron and just try to move it out there into the fairway. That's all I wanted to do. Good job. All right, so like Frank, I pushed mine a little bit right. Didn't do myself any favors though, because I am blocked out completely by this tree. So like Frank, I just want to get it out. I don't have any room to go up, so I just got to keep it low and punch it. That's it, that's all I can do. All right, 125 shot. All right, 50 degree wedge here. Let's see. All right, just off the left side. Fly that another eight yards, it would have been perfect. Just, just a matter of now getting the feel for it. Okay. Yeah, right at it. Right at it. Right at it. Right at it. Putting, man. Putting. All right, Frank, so 13. You tell me there's trouble everywhere, so what do we got? This is like a real shot maker's hole here. So what you really have to do, the ideal shot to the end of the fairway, if you want to push it, you got to hit it 231. That's pretty much the end of the fairway here. And then you got it almost looks like an island green, all water to the green. So you got a, you have about a 120 yard water carry. So if you hit this ball 230, that leaves you about 121 all carry to the hole. Right. So you got to hit something like a 200 club and then 150 club. Hang on, it's going too far left. All right, maybe got too aggressive, tried to cut off too much with that five iron, I think. I'm in the junk over there, red stake, so I'm gonna have to drop. Mike, other side of the fairway here. I flirted as well, but I, <laughs> I stayed in. Right, you're in. Uh, it's just when you go right on this hole, it does make it a much longer shot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared about this one. If you come up short, you're in that drop zone. Let's, uh, get, let's get fast on the down take. Fast. Right? Yep. I feel like That's you just trying to get everything out of that, worrying about the distance, I think. Yeah. A little bit much, huh? All right, this hole has punished both of us here. All right, Let's see if we can salvage something. Yeah, you're over there with me. Back left. Okay. 
All right, so after putting that second shot in the water, you saw I had the drop, and now I am lying four here on the side of the green. So setting myself up for a blow-up hole. I hope it's not the case. Hitting five here on this par four. It is tricky. Frank was right, man. No question about it, but I'll try to get that money 60-degree wedge down to the hole, tap it in, double bogey, and move out of here. Oh, good shot. Oh, I tried to dunk it in there. Well, just pushing it. Get in the hole. Wow, I'm getting raw. All right, guys, first triple bogey of the day. Frank got a double there. You're right, man. This hole will beat you up. I had a chance to save my bogey, even after going in that water, but that hole gets you. It gets you. So, hey, it happens to the best of us. Now we just got to recover. Just a little short. Well, that was a disaster of a tee shot, huh? Left myself with nothing. I think I got a lucky bounce. I think I got a hugely lucky bounce. Hey, did you see where my ball went? Because I think I just got a hugely lucky bounce. I was blocked out and I saw a nice left bounce. Dude, I was on Instagram. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I like the idea of the wedge here, but I do have a nice flat little runway. I'm going to Texas wedge this one. Home. You did a little more pace, but it's up there. Saw a weird kick, Frank. Looks like it helped you. You didn't see anything. You were on Instagram. Kidding. I saw a weird kick. <laughs> so I had no look at the green down there by the trees, but that's what it must have hit. It must have, I yeah, must have been Yeah, you definitely saved. caught that lip. It I did. caught that because I saw it rocket this Well, dude, way. it saved you because you would have been in that behind Sometimes it. Sometimes you got to get a good bounce. Sometimes. Every now and then. <sighs> went for it. A little bit too much. You went for it. You got aggressive. Man, I got no feel. All right, that lucky bounce is the only thing I had going for me on that hole, and it saved me with a bogey. Dude, back nine at Walk Hill, risky. Risky, <laughs> tough. And here's another tough one, it's not gonna let up. So, we got a par three, 183 to the middle from these back tees, and Protected all left with bunkers. Right side is safer, but the green does slope off right. So choose wisely. Choose wisely. Rotated a little much, left side. Didn't get in it. Didn't get it. Get up the top. Good old wall kill, making you think. It actually feels like, you know. Yeah, there's your old wall support. drill. Yeah, you the got wall your drill. wall drill. You know, not illegal, right? All right, there's no doubt, Mike, I'm gonna get dragged in the comments for leaving all these putts short, but struggling today, guys, just struggling with the putting. But anyway, one thing I wanna remind you guys of is if you do have a shot scope, whether it's a V1, V2, or V3, make sure you join the Golficity leaderboard. It's a lot of fun, little side competition we've got going on. It's all part of the uh, shot scope system. So all you gotta do is go into your shot scope app, join the leaderboard, use our code G-I-C-I-T-Y to join. We've got a great leaderboard going, fun little competition going on throughout the season. So make sure you guys join up. All right, can't reach this one, so let's just try to get it down there. It's a good play. Yeah. Right side of the fairway up there, you'll have a good look at the green. Good ball. Exactly what you wanted to do. 
That's all. That's all I want. That's it. That's Easy it. game. Uh, I got a little heavy. Got a little heavy there. Heavy. Won't hurt you. Won't ruin your day. Frank's in what we call the captain's seat right now. 100 yards to a flag on a par five approach shot. Oh. Ooh. Why? Mike. You mic'd it. I, oh. I, I got no words. All right, man. So guys, one big thing I struggle with, and you just saw it, is mental mistakes late in the round. Sometimes I notice, getting deeper in these rounds, last couple holes, I just kind of mentally check out sometimes, and I make a stupid mental error like that one there, and what you end up with is a wasted shot. So, uh, something I'm struggling with. Anybody got any tips for me, just drop them in the comments. All right, Frank, two par putts here. Let's hope one of them goes down, or both. There it is. Good par. There's one. All right, you know what I mean though? That mental error is the difference between putting for birdie or par. Yeah. Got to get those out of my game. Oh! Lighten right, up some edges today, huh? Giving you that one. All right, guys. We're coming up on the 17th and 18th hole, two of the hardest holes, you know, closing holes that I've played in a long time. You gotta be super accurate. Water comes into play like crazy. And here, Mike, this first shot, 200 yard shot is about all you want, 115 to the green. Green is surrounded by water. You need two accurate shots. If you, even if you hit this tee shot too good, you can push it right through to that water. Sounds like a ball of fun, Frank. Yeah. All right, my eyes deceived me a little bit. You got hung up on the hill. I thought maybe you got a good kick left. Anything here rolls nicely down. Which I think I did, but, hopefully. So now we got a longer shot. We got 195 over the trees. And again, tough, tough shot. Yeah, water, you're right? blonde, blocked out, everything. Yep. Right. Can he, will he get over those trees? Well, I'm gonna hit hybrid to give me a little more height. Oh, you got up and over all right. Great there shot, is. man. It's up there. Yeah. I don't know if it's on the green, but it's up there. Prime position here. Yeah. You're not blocked out by anything, but still, what it's do you scary. got? It's scary, it's scary. I got 158 to the middle. <laughs> All water left. Yeah. So we don't want to get, you know, pull hooky on the left side. So the play will be try to keep it on the right side of this green. Yep. You also got a left pin, which is uh, tempting, but. It's tempting, but I'm not I would say aim for the middle of this green. It's a tough enough hole. I want enough yeah, to I kept it, it way safe. Green side bunker. Wanted nothing to do with that. Yeah, that's what I call a recovery. I love when you drive up and it's even better than you thought. I am happy with that hybrid. For all of the putts I left short and a couple of the flub shots that I can try to forget tonight, this is the one that's gonna help me get to sleep. Great, great hybrid recovery on the green, about 30, 30 foot putt there. Bite, stop, stop, stop. All right, just off the back. Up it's got to break left to right. Just got to get the pace right. My biggest struggle. Oh, so I wasn't gonna leave it short. Good try. So that's how you do it, huh? Oh. All right, so we've come to our closing hole here at Wall Kill. Tough track, Frank, I'm telling you. Told you it was gonna be tough. You told me, you warned me, but overall, not playing terribly bad. I mean, a lot of my shots aren't really working today, but um, here we are in the closing hole. Pretty hole, got the clubhouse in the distance, but you got trouble. You got all trouble left with water, so any type of pull hook or anything going left is definitely wet and dead, and all those woods to the right is pretty much all OB, so it's a short hole, it's only 311. Yeah, and wait until you get up to that green. It's got this like hourglass shape. Oh, even better. Thin green. So yeah. it's kind of, it's almost like a mirror of 17, but you've got a little bit more breathing room left, but not too much. You got water over there. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. You want to get a good one on the last tee shot of the day. 
Good ball. Two Worth good ones. As well. Two good ones. Okay. We're out there. All right. I got 89 to the middle. Frank, it's going to be a battle of the approach shots here with you right here. Skinny green up there. Let's see. Oh, that ball's got to go. It went. You up there? Looks like it. Let's so see. Maybe it's all hot. Looks Whatever. like you got the green. step all over it. I won't even step in your line. All right. Never down, right? Ah, oh, never. Yeah! Solid par. Anytime Solid. you par 17 or 18, it's a good day. Sweet, dude. All right, moment of truth, adding it up. Rough back nine for, uh, for both of us, but yeah, uh, you bet. 39 front, 43 back for you for an 82. Take it all day long. All day long. And for me, 41 front, love it. And a 45 back, that triple really killed me uh, for an 86. 86. Okay. So not a bad day. Not a bad day. Tough course. All right, 86, 82. Respectable. Respectable. I, mean, I think we're in our mid-season form. Yeah. But the nice thing is we always know what we've got to work on. And the big part of that is the help of ShotScope. Again, big thanks to ShotScope for sponsoring this video. Now what we do, we end our round, we sync up it up with our watch, it takes a few seconds, and all of our shots are right there. And we can see what we need to work on. I know I got to work on that putting, and I got to work on keeping that mental game strong and not making those mental mistakes as the back nine beat me up. It did, it beat us both up. And for me, it's that mid game. I just can't find greens. I love that my 60 degree is getting me close for one putts, but I can't keep relying on it. Yeah, man. But look, we both ended on a high note. As I said, a par on that last hole is always a great score. Those are some tricky holes, 17 and 18. Yeah. But big thanks again to Walk Hill for hosting us. Love this course, great Muni, it's in great shape. And I'll tell you what, you get some great deals here too. Yeah, I bet. So if you're ever in the area, guys, you gotta play it. Bring a lot of golf balls, there's a lot of water out there. It's tight, but it's fun. It'll challenge your game. All right, again, thanks to ShotScope. Go to ShotScope.com to check out the new V3, and we'll see you guys back out there soon.